Hello, this is Science by Travis, and this is my metals, metalloids, and non-metals card sort. This card sort is, uh, the purpose of it is to help students understand the properties that they should recognize uh, with metals, metalloids, and non-metals, and where metals, metalloids, and non-metals are placed on the periodic table. Uh, so this card sort has 24 cards total, 8 cards go in each envelope. Um, and just to give you a visual, pull them out, and there are eight metals, there are eight metalloids, and uh, astatine is considered an, a metalloid by some uh, by by some publishers and some educational resources. And the textbook that Texas uses, it is considered. Uh, or that my district uses, it is considered a metalloid, so I did include that. Um, and then eight nonmetals. Now, as you can see, all three sets of cards are all the same color, and they're all the same design. So what students are supposed to do is they're supposed to take them all out, mix them all up, and then sort them into three stacks metals, metalloids, or nonmetals. And just to give you a close-up of one of the cards, here's thorium, and it shows the atomic number, symbol, name, and atomic mass, and then it has the question, metal, nonmetal, or metalloid. And then it has the um, properties, luster, conductivity, malleable, ductile, magnetism, or brittleness. And it's either yes, no, um, and with conductivity, if it's a semiconductor, it says semi. Um, and based on uh, the properties, the student's supposed to uh, use those properties to determine whether it's a metal, nonmetal, or metalloid. And um, and that's basically what the activity is. And the envelopes are more or less just to hold the cards separately. And over here, you've got the uh, title strips. Um, I couldn't fit uh, all three of these words onto one title strip, so I just called it periodic card sort, and that works for me. Um, and this card sort, you don't have to have it uh, like my other card sorts, you don't have to place it in the journal. You can make a set, set of these and just mix them all up, put them in uh, a class set of these, and put them in a bag. and um, or baggies and then hand them out to the students and then they can sort them uh, like that but if you think uh, you would like it better in the journal like this you're welcome to do that now uh, over here this is what the cards look like before they get cut up and put into the into the envelopes so on the front they're all together like this and one page will be the metals one page will be nonmetals and one page will be metalloids. And then on the back, this is what's neat about the back of them. Um, on the back of them, you've got the answers. And it's faded out, and it'll say metal, and it'll show the section uh, that metals are in. So here's the thorium card, and you can see that it's like that. And then the envelopes. Uh, and the title strips are printed on regular copy paper uh, like this and you just trim cut cut it out and color it and then glue it glue or tape it into the journal and um, the cards use cardstock that is the best thing to use for for card sorts is cardstock for one that way you can't uh, look through the card and see the answer on the other side and um, and plus they're more durable like in cardstock. So that's the uh, metals, metalloids, and non-metals card sort. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, follow my store for updates, sales, and new products. Thanks.